My name's uh, Nick Martin, so I'm one of the other guides working uh, working with Vic and Steve uh, on the Ocean Hunter boat. So I guess I've been lucky enough. This would probably be the first season where I've been really exposed to micro jigging. I mean, in the past, I've always played around with small jigs and plastics and all that sort of stuff. But this is the first year where I've consistently had charters where people have either wanted to learn about it or have been doing it directly. So whilst I've been showing people, I've actually been learning more. So. It's been really beneficial. So rather than lecture you guys on everything I know, I thought I'd just point out a few of the observations uh, which I've made from doing these fishing charters. Uh, so the first observation is that you definitely hook more fish on micro jigs than you do conventional jigs. Uh, I've had plenty of days out there at the 12 mile where I'd say you at least hook double the amount of fish or triple the amount of fish or quadruple the amount of fish than you do fishing conventional two, 300 gram jigs. Uh, <clears throat> thinking about it, I think the reason for that is that I guess traditionally the only reason why we've used heavy jigs, used the big knife jigs is just because with, with the old tackle, um, you know, fishing 80 pound braid, 100 pound leader, you've needed that really big weight to get your jig all the way to the bottom, um, as the guys would have mentioned. Uh, the way the tackle, I guess, is revolutionised, now you can actually fish smaller jigs. Um, I think small kingfish prefer to eat smaller jigs than they do bigger knife jigs, so you definitely do hook more fish. Um, second observation is that, I think I heard Vic mention it before, because it is quite light, people can actually jig for longer, which means you catch more fish naturally, but uh, even when I'm fishing the harbour and also long reef, when I pull up and I put my live baits out, I give everyone a plastic, a knife jig, a popper, what, dependent on where we're fishing because I believe the activity, uh, extra activity on the boat actually brings kingfish to your boat um, and also draws attention to your live bait. So if you've got more people fishing on the boat for more sustained periods, naturally you're going to catch more fish jigging but you're also going to bring more attention to your live bait. So I guess that's one of the other main benefits. Um, Whilst micro jigging has proven very successful over the last few months, I'd never leave the harbour if I was going out to the peak, the 12 mile, or any of those deep water spots without live bait. There's a few reasons for that. The first reason is whilst it's really fun to catch 80 centimetre fish, as the guys have mentioned, if you want to have a run at a 90 centimetre, a metre, metre 10 fish, you're only going to catch it using heavy gear. Um, so I'd always recommend having a couple of people live baiting and then have two live baits sitting out the back just doing their thing waiting for those bigger fish. In fact, when I've had my charter groups, I've had sort of up to five micro jiggers. Even though it is more sustainable, you still do get tired. So we normally have a rotation on the boat. We'll have two people with live baits out the back manning those and we'll have three people micro jigging around the boat. Everyone just moves on as they get tired, so everyone has a break. Uh, I guess the other thing is that whilst it's ideal to fish in conditions like the guys had today, where you've got absolutely no wind and you can sit on the same spot and you can get your small jigs all the way down, there are a lot of conditions which you will fish where micro jigging is not suitable. Um, I've had plenty of days where I've been out at the 12 or the peak and it's literally because of the current and the wind, it's just not possible to get your tiny jigs to the bottom. In those situations, your alternatives are live baits or also be smart and take your conventional uh, jigging gear because a two, 300 gram jig in those certain conditions is the only way you're gonna be fishing. The little micro jigs simply won't work. Uh, <clears throat> I guess, as I mentioned and I heard Vic say before, from experience, it's a really good way of getting a lot of fish and you can have, have a lot of fun, but you won't catch the big fish or if you do, you're gonna be very lucky. Um, and as Darren showed us before, it's not the rods um, or quite often the line, it's just the simple fact that the drag on the reels just can't put enough pressure on these fish. So you hook a metre long fish um, 10 metres off the bottom out of the 12 mile and you just don't even have a look and it's gonna go straight to the bottom. So that's why I recommend when you are doing it, have your micro jigging gear, have all the fun you want, but also have your heavier, heavier gear out the back, you know, fishing your 80 pound and all that sort of thing. Uh, in terms of, I think Charlie's gonna go into it um, as well, but even from having 
the same group of people out a number of times. It is evolving very quickly, um, and I have noticed that they are the micro jiggers are making quite a few changes. And the first thing which disappeared was the really light leader. Now they're up to you know sort of 30, 40 pound leader. They're not fishing 20 pound. And the second and most important thing, which is I guess proof for us that we're staying connected to a lot more fish, is upgrading the gauge of the of the hooks. So most of the most of the micro jigs out of the box are really light gauge fish meant for smaller reef species. They're not meant for kingfish. So if you want to stay connected to more fish, upgrade the hooks.